Hello and welcome to this episode of OBS Studio Intermediate Guide and this is for OBS 23.1 64-bit but it, it should be okay for all previous versions as well. What we're going to be doing is dealing with the problem that I had uh, and basically when I'm live streaming I want to be able to um, play play silly jingles like this and uh, have a microphone and of course what's happening is the speakers that are um, playing the sound as you can hear well you probably can't hear it because it's coming through it's coming through the microphone spoiled that one where is it I've you got, got no, no mail. mail. Just yeah, a bunch of crap. Press the wrong button after all that. Can we do that one again? No, we don't do it again. Just do it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be whining. This is my job. I'll just live with it. Now, of course, I don't want that because when you actually record the sound or you play music or whatever, um, it's sort of, there's a double echo, like an echo, because you've got two, uh, two in the mixer, you've got two items playing the same thing. I've come across this problem since the very beginning and I've not found a way around it. So I've been watching a load of videos on uh, on VB Cable and audio settings in OBS and unfortunately not one of these has managed to solve my problem. They've all sort of got there almost but not quite. Now uh, my latest uh, idea came about as a pure bit of luck let me first of all show you the problem um, so what we have there's the stream deck it's a new one it's a brand new uh, you know and uh, we've got these sound items here that we can play push, push the button the sound comes out it comes out on the audio because it's coming through from the desktop it's desktop audio and there's no way that you can redirect the sound from the computer to a separate channel or not one I found as of until yesterday uh, and what I want to be able to do is play the sound but not not pick it up with the microphone when I have it the microphone not picking up I want to pick up my my voice obviously but I don't want the sound to play as well I want the sound to play in OBS because otherwise it would not be recorded. However, there, there was no way of doing that and nobody making the video seems to have solved the problem. If we go into the sound settings, what we've got is obviously your output is here. This is your sound output where it will go. You could come in here and change it every single time which would be a pain in the bum having to remember to come in and change it first before you start streaming now this is what we're going to talk about the other the other item of this is the the output cable um, cable a output the vb audio cable which you have to download from the website it's not free entirely but it will cost you five dollars or basically four pounds eight p and you get two cables you get cable a cable b plus you get a free well it's basically this one up here the cable input this is the uh the alternative so you ha either have cable input or you have speak uh speakers cable input or speakers is what you need to to change where it goes where the audio goes in obs now let's have a little look at OBS. So OBS settings, uh, we're doing this via another application. So this is a this is a uh, application called Corel Screen Capture. So it's only picking up this area of the screen. Uh, what we have is the settings, and the audio settings is what we're dealing with. Uh, so what I've done is I've set cable input on the desktop audio device so that that will be routed through the cable input which is a special uh, 
thing that you have to install. My microphone is played through uh, virtu uh, voice mod, which is a software package that changes your voice. Um, we can test this out in a minute, but for now, you don't need to know that. But it could be that you have a, um, a normal you have a normal microphone, which is a Yeti, the, my Yeti. Uh, this is what I was using before, but I've now changed it to voice mod, and voice mod routes the sound through back into OBS. Now the other item of interest is they recommend on on the VB audio that you set to 48k uh, hertz on the settings up the top there. Uh, the audio monitoring device routed on the output uh, when you're monitoring. This is our point. I want to be able to monitor it on my headphones but I want the audio to come out in OBS and not on the microphone. Anyway, so that is the thing that we have to install. So the, the VB audio uh, thing. Now, the interesting thing is about all of this is I've put a key, I've got a key, and this is the, the lucky bit that I did, didn't really, um, nobody else has sort of shown. So if you remember, we have we have the settings, and we have to keep on changing here, speakers to cable, speakers to cable, speakers to cable. That could be very very annoying. So what I have on my stream deck, I put some keys up the top here. So before I start the stream, um, that one there is recording, so it's recording the video. It's recording now. This one here will stream, start the stream. That one there puts it onto the first page that I want to display. This one here is the one that we want to discuss. And it is, obviously you need to have the um, Stream Deck software. So this button up here is the one that we want to look at. Uh, oh, I can't do it on that screen, I've got to do it on here. So this is a button I want to look at. So when you click on it, you can see that it gives you, it's a custom toggle audio device. You'll find this in the custom area uh, of the items. There's loads of items here. Uh, so the custom item, but you have to install it as a plugin. And um, you have to do more actions and down here so click on that and then you have to go and find it and it's basically this audio audio output uh toggle or set the active audio devices so you so you click the button and install it and uh, you end up with the the items listed so toggle set audio device and audio mute I'm actually using audio mute here because it is um, it is collection independent. Whereas if you if you put a, a toggle on the scene uh, for your microphone to close it down, uh, it only works on that scene. So if you use another scene, the microphone thing doesn't work. Whereas this button, this um, toggle switch does work and uh, it's um, something I found uh, that, that a way around it because I use a lot of scenes I'll show you that in a second uh, but this button up here is the one we want to do at the moment redirect it to the speakers and just to prove it works uh, we can actually click the button in a minute but the other uh, the other setting, which is this one, which has got the headphones on it. So that means that it will be headphones only and routed through the sound output will come through OBS as a desktop item, a separate desktop item, item that you can obviously set up to record as well. So, uh, 
for the output device default, this will set the default for the output device. At the moment, the primary is the cable input, which directs it to OBS, and the secondary is for the speakers. So they come out on the speakers, and obviously then you have trouble recording it in OBS because it will it will come out on the on the microphone. Uh, so that is basically the option, and to see it working, I'm going to press the button on the screen deck. So we'll press it now. It should change to cable input, and as you can see up here, cable input, and the little icon is now headphones. And if we play a sound, I'm going to have to do this via the microphone because you probably can't hear it. So, I don't know if you can hear that, but you can certainly see it on the audio, on the video rather. You can see the desktop audio bar moving across as I hit, as they play the sound. Let's see if we can get this to. Um, but you can certainly hear it um, on the microphone when I play that, if I shut up. It's very quiet because it's coming through speakers, through, through headset. So this would be obviously in your ears. Um, and trust me, there is no sound coming out of the speakers in the room. The only, the only thing that I can hear is obviously through the headset which is what I want and obviously OBS now is the desktop bar is on the sound <laughs> is moving across which means that the recording or the stream will hear it and that is exactly the issue that I wanted to sort out in the first place uh, and then when I finish the, the actual stream and I, and I want to set everything back to normal. Then you end, end the stream using the button up here. But before you close everything down, all you do is just um, press the headset button. And it will put the sound back to the speakers. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the microphone off. Now you probably can't hear that because it's not coming out the desktop on OBS and that is where I'm recording the audio. So that bit will be probably completely blank uh, if, if it's all gone to plan. But I'll do the same thing now with the microphone open and then you can hear it. So that's being recorded via the microphone. It's very clever. I'm very happy with, with the outcome of this because it does mean that I can stream and play my jingles and not worry about having to have a, a, double, um, a double echo. So what do we do then? What do we do? Well, we have to go and find the uh, AB cable. Right. Let me just open up a tab. And what we'll do is we'll do a VB audio cable um, VB audio cable virtual audio cable with VB and it's on their own website so this is the actual website uh, VB audio uh, cable so what you do is you download the free uh, part of this this is a free element that's the white one this is the input, cable input. Um, it's um, an audio device that works virtual audio cable. And all signals coming in from the cable input is going to the cable output. So you have cable output, cable input. It becomes simple to make computer audio recording or to connect a player. So this one would be for the desktop um, audio. So VB audio additional virtual cables, they can get two more. 
So you have cable A, cable B, and then you end up with three of them. So the cable input and the input and A and B, and these are what they call donation ware. So it's a it's basically five dollars minimum uh, to purchase, and you get the um, product immediately after you've paid, sent by email. You download it and install it as per you would do with any piece of software. So uh, that is it. That is what you need uh, if it's going to be of, of use to you. I don't really need to show you how to install that, do I? No, of course I don't. <laughs> uh, but you can, of course, um, just check out. Let me just load it a minute. sound settings so sound uh, the device outputs no not that the sound devices right so this is uh, cable a cable B cable input and then input devices and then you get a cable output as well so that's the three cables so if you had three different uh, items that you wanted to route then that's possible so there's one more thing that you have to do before you can use these items as I've discussed before is to actually uh, set the properties of it so we have to do each one individually so these are the properties levels advanced 48,000 kilohertz studio quality both two are ticked So just make sure that they're done. And the last thing is that because these are all inputs, having done that, you don't have to do the outputs. And the way that you do that is on the recording tab. This is the actual most important part of it because when you configure the uh, item, you need to go to here. So properties and listen. And this is the absolutely the most important thing uh, in order for you to hear it on your headset so this will be the yeti um, the headset and you need to tick the box listen to the device and also set the device from the list so if you had it to speakers then it obviously it would come out on the speakers but we don't want that we want it on the headset so you do that one for every single uh, every single one of these. So it's properties and then listen and tick the box and select the Yeti. Uh, in my case, Yeti. It could be a headset. It could be um, other devices that you may have. This has solved my, my problem and I'm completely happy with it. And I thought that it might help somebody because I really cannot believe that I would be the only person who has this problem. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that video and of course um, I'm now going to press the Stream Deck button to end the recording just to prove that it uh, works. So there's the Stream Deck, there's the button and we're going to press it right now.